Hello and welcome to our lecture about an FIR filter on an FPGA. There are several videos that show you the design from algorithm to implementation and verification. And this video gives you some ideas about exercises you can do to work with the code that is provided. The first experiment is intended for setting up the design flow. So you install the design software on your computer download all the source files and perform simulation and synthesis. You can also upload the result on the remote lab and check if the experiment is working. And you can make small changes to see how this is reflected in the result of simulation and synthesis. Another experiment is implementing a switch for the sharpness improvement. That's a relatively easy experiment. The FPGA board we provide has uh, three switches and uh, you can use one of the switches to switch between original image and sharpness improvement. Again, perform synthesis, try out the experiment on the remote lab. There are two things that you should observe. The vertical position of the output image should not change, should not jump between the two settings. And you should also have a look at the power consumption because if you are not doing sharpness improvement, if you not have this processing, a good circuit should use lower power. An experiment that is a little bit more complex is using a switch to distinguish between different modes of sharpness improvement. And in the video you saw that the high pass filter for sharpness improvement has an amplification factor. You can use this to have different modes, for example, four modes. And um, then you have to generate verification images with Octave. Um, my advice is that you use different test benches for the different modes and again perform FPGA synthesis, experiment on the remote lab, and also compare the resources that you used in comparison to the original implementation. The design that is provided uses simplification at the image borders. And uh, an advanced experiment is to modify the code for correct handling of these image borders. So do not filter the borders together with pixel of the neighboring line and frames and uh, correct the shift of three lines. You can check how Octave handles the filtering at the image borders. There are different options and my advice is that you check which option is the best for hardware implementation and then you can implement that. If you want to have a look into signal processing, then you can change the filter coefficients and modify the number of taps or the cutoff frequency in the octave function or you can have a look at the literature to find what other filter functions are proposed there and um, then you could compare the image quality and the resources that are used. An experiment for digital design and understanding of the FPGA resources is having a look at the line memories. The line memories need a delay of uh, 1280 pixel and the FPGA uses block RAM and uh, 2048 memory locations for it. If there are enough FPGA resources available, this is okay, but you can change the line memory so that only 1280 memory locations are used. The last experiment for this video is increasing the word width of the intermediate signal between vertical filter and horizontal filter. The original design uses 8-bit, but you could increase that to have higher accuracy. You can check the image quality and resource usage by performing the experiment in simulation or on the remote lab. If you want to have a more advanced experiment, you could also change the octave code and uh, use the self-checking test bench. So please try out the experiments and exercises that are of interest for you. I wish you all the best for your learning and your studies and thank you for your interest.